We're told the table below shows the ages of six people and the number of pets they own. So the, this row is age of people, and then the second row is number of pets. So the person who's nine years old owned four pets. The person who's eight years old owned two pets, and so on and so forth. Which scatter plot best represents all the data in the table? So pause the video and have a go at this before we do this together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is look at each of these age and number of pet pairs and see if I can find these points on each of these scatter plots. So this first one is nine years old and four pets. So that is nine years old, which is right about here between eight and 10 and four pets. So I see it right over there. So scatter plot A is looking good. Nine years old and four pets should be here. It's not in scatter plot B, so we can rule scatter plot B out. Nine years old and four pets. It's on scatter plot C, so that one's still in the running. And then nine years old and four pets should be right over here. It's not in scatter plot D. So already, even with that first point, we can rule out two of them. Now let's look at eight years old and two pets. So eight years old and two pets, it's on A. And if we go here on C, eight years old and two pets, it's there too. So they're both in the running. Let's keep going. 10 years old and three pets. 10 years old and three pets, it's on A. 10 years old and three pets, it's not on C. So we can rule that out. And so we can say that scatter plot A represents all the data in the table. Now we can verify that by looking at the other points. Does it have 8, 1? 8, 1 is right over here. Does it have 7, 2? 7, 2 is right over here. And then last but not least, 6, 4 is also here. 6 and then 4. So scatter plot A is looking good.